Welcome to SelfDiscoveryWisdom.com, formerly known as Self Discovery Media. On these podcasts, you're going to hear people who speak from the heart. They've taken the journey in life. Many things have happened to them, but they've changed it to happening for them. And in their strength, their courage, they've discovered their abilities and their wisdom, and they are now sharing it here with you. Do enjoy each show. We bring it to you with love and knowing that it's going to help you on your journey of life. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Sarah's View of Life. And I'm your host, Sarah Troy. You're listening here right on subdiscoverywisdom.com. Well, it is my 11th year of my own network. In April, I celebrated 12 years of podcasting. Now it is 11 years of my own network. Of course, when I first started out, I really wasn't sure what I was doing. There weren't many other places around that had a podcast network excuse me, network. And so there wasn't much to gauge on. So it was literally just doing it and learning as we go. Here we are 11 years later, 3,600 shows, gone into podcast books, have a mentorship directory program and advancing off into education. It's really been an incredible journey. And I have had the honor Oh, have I had the honor of interviewing some extraordinary people, ordinary people living extraordinary lives, doing extraordinary things, having faced so many things in their lives and choosing to go through the process of healing, to overcome and to embrace their meaningful purpose, their calling, their gift, and now share it out with the world. Whether it's been somebody with just sharing a book and a story, a passion, lifelong, something that happened to them, or whether they've become a coach or a mentor or a tutor of their own. It's all here. You will notice I have 19 different genres, and that is because you may be interested in only in your health or mental health, or maybe you're only interested in, in something else, um, like children or pets or um, spirituality or quantum spirituality or business, uh, veterans uh, for the love of music or choosing positive living or igniting your heart and soul. It's all here. My own show every week is Sarah's View of Life, where I share my perspectives. Sometimes they only maybe 10 minutes and sometimes they may be a half an hour. All the shows that I do bring to you with our guests are an hour plus long. Why are they that long? Because they have so much to share, so many onions to peel away. It's not just about what they're doing or the experience they had that led them to where they are today. It's who they've become because of it and how it inspires and invites other people to take that journey of self-discovery. So I invite you to come and look at selfdiscoverywisdom.com. You will see a tag at the top that that says podcast. All of those banners there are genres. Pick a genre you like. Some have 300 on them, some have 400 on them, 200 on them. There's many of them there. So have a look and take a look and see which ones kind of capture your interest. You'll see on the sidebar all the current shows or the shows that people have chosen to listen to. You will also see on the home page uh, leading you to the auditofwisdom.org where we are doing the podcast books and where the mentorship directory is. And you will see all sorts of other things in there too. So we are also launching a second book. <clears throat> the first book came out, Our Forgotten Children, the beginning of this year, which was more of a philosophic book, raising the awareness of the system that is wrong, raising our children and how it needs to change. Also a fundraiser for the organizations that our authors each support. Now, this book is about coaches. We are here to support the coaches, mastering self-discovery, wisdom from renowned coaches. And it will be a 25, maybe 30 chapter book of coaches on how they're here to help you, what brought them there and what their beautiful gift is to you, the audience. If you wish to be a part of that, please reach out to me at selfdiscoverywisdom at gmail.com, selfdiscoverywisdom at gmail.com and uh, come in and and inquire. You can also go to um, Be Our Author, uh, which is on, I've got to make sure that I've actually got that title right, because I 
do forget sometimes what that title is. So give me a second. Yeah, be our next author. And you'll see it on the homepage where you can just click onto it. It will give you all of the details on being an author, everything that we're offering you, everything that it entails, because it does entail a commitment. We do wish you to participate in this. You have complete full support on all levels, summits, um, workshop groups, uh, individual coaching, and podcasts, and so much more. And all of the detail is there, as well as the packaging that we offer to you, three-tier packaging. So if you wish to be on the back cover, which is the premium there, um, the VIP one, well, then there's only a few slots for that one. Um, but we have something for everybody. So I'm going to continue for the next 11 years, I hope, and more, I hope, uh, in bringing you these wonderful people from around the world, men, women, I've even interviewed children, uh, music people, you name it, people that are making a difference out there, the illuminators. And so I invite you to come in and take a listen to some of these shows. Um, my last week's show, which was about um, the Mission Acceptor 262 it was about a book that I'm in, as you see behind, 262 women, and uh, everybody contributing in that book. No, we're only going to do 2530, not 262, and your chapters will be longer. Um, I've had the honor of interviewing nearly 40 people from that book, and it still continues and to extend their story. But you're talking about illumination, it's in that book. You will also see behind me, if you're watching the video, our Forgotten Children book. There's also my book, uh, Sarah's uh, Self-Discovery to Soul Loving. And uh, also the, another book I'm in, which I'm waiting for the paperback, is Dare to Live Fearlessly. So I've been very, very busy this year, including moving. And here we have another new chapter, a new book coming out, my 11th year, more podcasts to come, and uh, expansion, expansion. Uh, but I'm also a grandma. And so I'm also slowing down a little bit on the podcast, only working three to four days a week instead of six to seven, uh, because I have a couple of days with my grandboys every week. And I'm there to help mom and dad when little ones get sick, which has recently happened. So um, if you book with me, please be flexible. If something happens with my grandboys, I am there for the boys and we would have to reschedule. If I'm sick, I push through, but not when the boys are sick. I need to be there for them. They're only babies after all. And uh, um, I really have had the time of my life doing these podcasts. I really have. And I've made so much discovery on who I am as a person, what my gift is, um, how it's impacted me, these stories, how it's changed me and the way I look at life now and my meaningful purpose and and. Uh, I'm just the beautiful simplicity of life and how beautiful it is. So I do invite you, please, to listen to a, some of my shows and some of the other shows. If you wish to be interviewed, reach out to me, selfdiscoverywisdom at gmail.com. If you wish someone else to, uh, to me, for me to interview, again, recommend them. You know, send an email. I'd like you to interview this person. And I will certainly have a chat with them. And, you know, what's the requirement? I really don't care if it's a story, if it's a book, a piece of art, a piece of music, or just a reflection on life or really, you know, coaching or something significant that you're offering. It doesn't matter, the big or small. Does it come from the heart? Is it there to illuminate someone's life? Is it there to inspire and to lift people up to that beautiful higher consciousness? If it is, they are welcome and welcome on and on and on for the years to come. So here's to the next 11 years and may this next 11 years be illuminating as well. And may I have the energy and the courage and the strength to carry on because this with my, my kids and my grandkids really keeps me going, gets me up every day. Who am I going to interview today? What are they going to share? What impact is it going to have? I've had fibromyalgia for 27, nearly 30 years, and I learned there was a simple vitamin, a simple vitamin that would actually reduce the toxins in the body that are causing the fibro. Nobody ever told me about that. I'm certainly going on that regime. And the success I have, I will share. But uh, do listen to the show next week with, um, I'm just going to get you her name quickly. 
Um, sorry, I have so much going on in my head right now. But the name of the person that you need to listen to, she's a retired doctor, um, is uh where is she? Dr. Victoria J. Monlock. And also listen to Sophie Yen on women's menstrual and, um, and birth control and menopause and all the things that has been done for that and, and Inga um, on transformation. So uh, that's just shows next week, folks. But oh, sorry, <laughs> you never know when one of those is going to come about. Now shows are very organic. You know, we own it. Things happen. If it's catastrophic, we we edit it out. If it's just a little drop or something like a sneeze or a cough or anything else, it's life. We're human and we want to keep it organic. So enjoy the shows. And as I said, you've got some people that you think that need to share or you want to share. You're not too old. You're not too young. It's not too small. It's not too big. As long as it comes from the heart with good intentions to raise people's consciousness, spirit into love. So until next time, folks, bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show. There are so many more for you here on selfdiscoverywisdom.com. Just go to the podcast tag at the top there and you will see all the many genres and all 3,000 shows ready for your listening. We are here to serve you, to help you on your journey of life. And we know that through inspiration, it begets invitation. We are supported by you, the listeners, and those that we interview. Anything that you can spare us in donation would be greatly accepted. And we do hope that you enjoy the next show.